Now to 13 Vegas Sports. The VGK faithful certainly was cross-checked last week. A couple of regional Golden Knights, of course, traded away. And good morning, Las Vegas anchor Dave Cravasia. He spoke with Las Vegas Weekly's Case Kiefer about the moves. Boy, the Knights really got some attention when they traded Andre Fleury. More like they dropped a bomb. Well, why did they do that? Yeah, Dave, well, you know, I, I try not to be, uh, you know, too, I understand everyone's feelings, so I don't want to be, uh, you know, mean about it or anything, but we talked about this on, on, on I talked about this with you uh, the last time we wrote about the it's Golden true. Knights, the writing was just on the wall, they were going to have to trade one goalie, um, Flurry was still the favorite because of, you know, his age and how much money he was going to make, now the season he had last year, I think you can make the argument that, uh, maybe it could have been Robin Leonard. Uh, it was a possibility, but this was always a, a favorite to happen. And I know some of the circumstances have rubbed people the wrong way and the way they let him know and stuff. But uh, in no way do I think this was a, a, a shocking trade. It was just something that had to happen. And it, it's the reality of uh, what the NHL is dealing with, with the tight salary cap and especially the Golden Knights, who are one of the teams most pressed up against it. Kelly McCrimmon, the Golden Knights general manager, of course, has said this is the team we're going to have. Uh, basically, has said we're done. We don't foresee any other moves. Uh, that being said, I mean, there's still a, a big trade piece that all Golden Knights fans, I think, are looking at with, uh, you know, former top overall pick Jack Eichel uh, in Buffalo. Um, it looks like he might get traded at some point, and the Golden Knights have been linked to him for a long time. All right, we'll see. So, by the way, this week's issue of Las Vegas Weekly comes out tomorrow.